Coming up, colon cancer awareness and why health experts are reporting a rise in cases in younger people, especially African Americans. While new developments in molecular imaging technologies are dramatically improving the ways in which colorectal cancer is diagnosed and treated, Dr. Richard Wall, president of the Society of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular, Molecular Imaging, joins us with more. Thank you for your time this morning. Good morning. Talk to me a little bit about these scans, what they are, and how they help detect colorectal cancer. Sure. Uh, obviously, the first thing, as we just discussed, is, is having screening to identify colorectal cancer in its early stage. But sometimes it's not diagnosed in its early stage. And, and then uh, more potent diagnostic imaging tests are needed to, to pinpoint where the disease is located. And uh, PET scans are one of the uh, tests. Uh, it's a nuclear medicine test. It's a very safe test, and we inject a radio labeled sugar into the body and about an hour later take pictures of the body. You see some pictures here of uh, the scans and we can fuse those images with CT scans. These scans let us identify uh, small foci and large foci of colorectal cancer and anywhere in the body. And they're very helpful for, for guiding surgical procedures because uh, surgery to remove all uh, spots of colorectal cancer still is a, is a great tool and can improve uh, survival greatly and can lead to cures. Absolutely. So let's talk about affordability, accessibility, and the FIND Act. Tell me a little bit about that and how it can get more people access to these important, you know, life-saving doctor's appointments. Right. Yeah, the FIND Act is uh, very important. It's uh, facilitating innovative nuclear diagnostics, and you can learn more about it at the website snmmi.org. That's snmmi.org. But in brief, while well, the glucose PET scan I just showed you, the FDG PET, is paid for by Medicare, Many of our other innovative uh, pet procedures are only paid for uh, after a couple of years at a fraction of their cost uh, by, by the current Medicare rules. And the FIND Act is designed to address this uh, imbalance. The, the, the PET scan radio tracers, which are very safe, are treated as supplies. So the FIND Act, uh, you can read about it, digs in and fixes this problem. Um, the innovation in nuclear medicine is critical so that we can have other tests to help uh, diagnose other diseases. So the FIND Act will help access to patients, as was discussed earlier. Patients need to have access to these technologies, and we want it to be accessible regardless of the socioeconomic status of the patient. FIND Act will help correct that problem. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Wall, thank you for your time this morning and for sharing the information on the website for where we can find more info on the FIND Act. I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you.